Helping this morning, Jerry Richardson, the owner of the Carolina the Panthers, says that he is selling the franchise. This comes as the NFL investigates possible workplace misconduct by Richardson. Christine Scarpelli is live in Spartanburg with the Panthers go for training camp. Christine, on impact here. Good morning. Absolutely. Yeah, right here in downtown Spartanburg. Starting to get busy this morning. Of course, everybody thinking about that sale that they might have heard about late last night. Owner Jerry Richardson said no sale, no decisions made till after the last game is played in the Carolina Panthers season. But again, something everyone will be thinking about. Let's think about Spartanburg, though. Right now, we looked at a study done by Clemson last year for the Spartanburg Convention and Visitors Bureau. More than 135,000 people coming right here to Spartanburg, eating here, staying in the restaurants here and of course here to see the Carolina Panthers practice before their season. Many area high schools. If you watched Daybreak, you saw us out there as Spartanburg High was able to visit with some of the players, uh, learn with them, practice with them. So obviously that would be something that would be missed. And of course, something that affects the Carolina Panthers players as well. Now we hear from Cam Newton, their quarterback after last night's game. No, personally for me, man, he's 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 giving me uh, an opportunity to uh, make a big impact in my family. I hope, you know, things doesn't, um, you know, alter my, my thinking of Mr. Richardson. But for what I do know, man, he's given, you know, me some things that, you know, I just will forever be appreciative for him. Yeah, guys, and this morning we reached out to the Spartanburg Convention and Visitors Bureau. Chris Jennings says Spartanburg has been the home of the Carolina Panthers training camp since its inception. He says we look forward to continuing our partnership with the Panthers, Wofford College, the city and county during any transition that occurs. So obviously positive thoughts coming from the Visitors Bureau and of course those here in Spartanburg that wish to see the Panthers stay here for training, training camp at Wofford. Guys, back to you. Christine, we know owner Jerry Richardson fought to put the team in the Carolinas. So any indication about the commitment to the area? Uh, obviously, yeah. You know, it, it does still sound like uh, this is something that is accepted by the Carolinas. But, you know, years ago, it, people weren't sure. Would a football team do well in the Carolinas? Obviously, owner Jerry Richardson very headstrong about bringing it to Charlotte, says people will come out. Of course, you see attendance at the games. And again, those big numbers at training camp alone here in Spartanburg. And of course, the team doing well, their participation in two Super Bowl games. That is uh, obviously something that he, he says they would do well. And, and they've done well, very popular here in Spartanburg. Guys, back to yeah. you. Hope to see a resolution soon. All right, Christine, thanks so much. And yesterday, Sports Illustrated released a report saying at least four former team employees received money settlements for inappropriate workplace comments and conduct by Jerry Richardson. The report also says that Richardson directed a racial slur toward a Panther scout who is black. We will continue to follow this story on air and online at WSPA.com.